all right what is up guys welcome to the showcase of the gt updates version 10 and 11 um first things first i just want to say thank you for a thousand subs i didn't get to say it in my last video because i was pre-recorded pre a while ago but i'm recording this video close to when it releases so again thank you guys for a thousand subs i'm gonna be more active on videos now sorry for a little break but uh yeah i'm glad to be back and uh, I'm gonna be making thumbnails and all that and hopefully the videos will be better than ever. So I'll hop right into this highly anticipated uh, GT video. Starting off with the first thing that we have in this update, that's going to be the Flow game rule. Now, uh, from the time I was gone, Flow has changed a decent bit. Firstly, uh, to even get Flow in the first place, you have to have the strongest effect. Now, if you go into your advancements, this is the strongest effect. Basically, uh, as you know in my previous videos, you get a boost when you hit the GT Extra Power requirements. Just a reminder, that's the that's the game rule, GT Extra Power. And that's the value that you set, you meet those requirements. You can go see my full show to the, for an explanation on what exactly GT Extra Power does. But, in this case, when you hit the requirements, you get the strongest effect. Now what the strongest effects allows you to do is it allows you to uh, have access to the uh, flow effect so even if the flow game rule is enabled let me just show you again the uh, game rule so even if the game rule is enabled even if the game rule is enabled you won't be able to have access to flow until you have the strongest effect i'm pretty sure about that now going on to what the flow itself actually does it uh lets you skip it skips the chance on your uh curse technique moves so stuff like blue or dismantle or we use blast or stuff like that it lets you skip the chance skip the charge for those cursed uh technique moves it does not let you skip the ch skip the charge for your physical moves it only works on cursed technique moves so how do you get the flow well whenever you have the zone effect you'll have the flow effect to show you for instance when i use my domain i get access to the zone effect and as a result i have the flow effect now this is only uh, inside domain. Let me show you with another crest technique so I can actually show you the moves of it. For Gojo, with, uh, Gojo for instance, I'll activate Unlimited Void. Now as you can see, my moves don't uh, instantly charge. This is because even though I have the flow effect, your moves only instantly charge after you land a black flash. So it's not gonna instantly charge in domain or anything like that. It's only after a uh, black flash, they will instantly charge. Also, I love the new uh, Gojo domain. Orca did an amazing job designing that. But yeah, so after you land a black flash, that's when you'll get the flow effect and that will skip the chance on your moves. So yeah, those are the changes to the flows and how they interact with domains. You can only truly get the flow effect after you hit a black flash. Now going on to one of the other uh, one of the other game rules that's going to be the uh, cursed energy game rule as you can see in uh, slash game rules cursed energy regen game rule this is normally set to zero now what this means is for every 10,000 cursed technique levels that you have if I do slash stats for every 10,000 cursed technique levels that you have you will regen one cursed power every second so um at my uh cursed technique level for ex for example i have uh i can't count yeah 10 million and if you were to divide that by uh 10 000, it'll show that i'll regen 1000 cursed power every second and i can show that just by going in survival uh and using let's say for example uh output rct you could see I regen a thousand curse technique every level, uh, every second. So it's an interesting addition that you can have to your world that lets people regen cursed uh, energy faster than normally. It could be broken at times if you get to like an insane number, like I'm at a million, I basically won't run out of curse power and that kind of makes six size useless. But I feel like if you could set an upper limit to it, it could be a pretty good addition. And of course, if you just don't want it in your world, you want to turn it off, you can just set it to a negative one and it'll turn off. 
Also, if you set it to a higher number, that'll change how much cursed energy you get per second. If you set it to two, that's two times one, so you get two cursed energy per second per 10,000 cursed tunic levels. If you change it to five, then it'll be five cursed energy per second per 10,000 technique levels. So that's how the cursed energy regen game rule works. Now, another addition that has been added to GT is auto RCT. If you go into your keybinds, it's just in one of the GT keybinds, auto RCT. And it's very self-explanatory. You press the keybind and you're automatically, uh, you automatically have RCT applied to you. It does take curse power and there's no uh, like mind, there's no uh, brain damage effects or anything like that. Now to unlock auto RCT, I believe you only need the first instance of a reversal output. That just means 4,000 reversal levels. If you go to stats right there at the bottom there, you only need 4,000 reversal levels to achieve auto RCT. And you just press the key button to turn it on, press the key button to turn it off. Now we'll go on to some of the curse technique changes and some of the, and one of the new extension techniques. The first extension technique we'll go over is uh, Kashimo's extension technique. Now what this lets you do is build up charge with positive energy. Just to uh, show you the game rule that enables this is simply just the Kashimo game rule. Set it to true and you'll be able to use Kashimo's new uh, extension technique. Now, what, how you build up positive charge is through shift plus RCT. Now there's two ways to uh, use this charge. You can build up the charge on entities like other players or for example, your staff. You just shift RCT your staff for a while and then now that the charge is built up, you can send a lightning strike for free. Another way you can use this charge is you can build it up on yourself. By looking down and shift plus RCTing, as you can see with the particle effects, you're building up a charge on yourself. Now with this, what you can do is you can do a self lightning strike that causes a massive explosion. Now I like this because when you shift RCTing, you're also healing. So let's say you get damaged in a fight and you need to go back to heal. You can go back, uh, run to a safe spot, start healing yourself. And while you're healing yourself, you're building a charge. So you can bait somebody in and launch a lightning strike at them. Now I can uh, show this off real quick how this can work in an actual fight. Just for showcase purposes, I'm just gonna pull up an easy fight. Uh, let's just do Jogo. I hop down here, so yeah. Let's say, oh, I'm fighting, and oh, look, I got hurt, I'm in pain now, I could just run away, shift, and oh, let me check extension technique on. Yeah, start healing myself, while also building up charge. And then the next time I get close to Jogo, I can just lightning strike him. Now, another good use of this, of course, is on curses. Because on curses, shift plus RCT already hurts them. So, I, it's double effective where you can hurt them and build up charge at the same time. So if Jogo wants to stay still, please. I think that should be enough. Okay, nice lag, smile to launch a lightning strike, just like that. So that's how effective it can be in a fight. I really like it because it adds way more depth into Kashimo's uh, fighting style and yeah, adds way more depth to that. So it's a pretty nice change and I, I like it a lot. Now, another game rule that you might've noticed if you've been playing GT and scrolling through the world game rules is going to be slash game rule, Mahito so touch game rule. We change this to true, but a lot of you may be wondering what this actually does. Uh, yeah, a lot of you may be wondering what this actually does. If I remember correctly, it would have bypassed their ability to do uh, true damage to the target. But this hasn't been implemented for one main reason. Uh, Orca himself, Orca himself has added idle transfiguration to Mahito, which was going to be the Mahito Soul Touch game role. If you do notice in the communities, there's this little uh, funny thing where Akari would work on something, add it, and then the week after, Orca would have it uh, implemented into the game itself. But yeah, so as you can see, Mahito Soul Touch game role would have been this, idle transfiguration. 
but since out of transfiguration is in the official mod there's no real point to have it anymore which is sad but you know that's just how things work now we'll go over the uh the new cinematic purple i should say that acri has uh added now, if you remember in my last uh gt video i showed you a discord video of the new uh cinematic purple well that's fully implemented into the game and i'm telling you right now it looks amazing so the first requirement to use this cinematic purple is to have extension technique now i see a lot of you in the comments ask for oh how does the extension technique work when i go to my advancement i don't have the extension technique pad, uh, tab well i'll explain this really quick really clearly to get the extension technique and extension technique tab the first thing you need to do is to have 4,500 player technique levels. Let me just get out here. You need to have 4,500 of these. Now, when you have 4,500 of these, you will press your extension technique button. Let me just show you which button that is. That is this button. Oh, extension technique, not extension technique, press key, just extension technique. So when you have 4,500 levels, you press that button and it'll unlock the advancement and the tab for you. Now that we have extension technique, how do we do the purple? Well, it's very simple. The first thing you want to do is do a fully chanted blue anywhere. I prefer it up in the sky to be canon, but yeah. After that, you do a fully chanted red. And just like that, they will combine to form Kyoshiki. a Murasaki. massive, and I mean massive, hollow purple. And it stays for a while. <laughs> but yeah, that purple is massive. And it also puts you on a 100 second cooldown on all of your uh, curse techniques. Except for domain, of course, and your passive ability. Of course, this isn't the only way uh, to use it. You don't have to use it in the sky. But let me just quickly show you uh, the damage. If I do it closer to the uh, floor, for example. Don't mind the lag. Now, if you don't want to get pulled by blue after you summon it, you can just hold shift after you summon blue. Don't hold shift while you're chanting with extension technique turned on, because that can lead to a lot of bad things. As you can see, a massive, 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 massive purple. Look at that. That's the size that you like to see out of a move like that. <laughs> Pretty accurate too. But yeah, uh, for how you would use this in a fight, if you have somebody, I would recommend if you're using this in a fight, don't use your blue in the air. Because what will happen is you'll shoot a red and you'll knock that person back. So the better thing to do is shoot a blue either at a wall or in the ground. That way it creates a crater for them to be stuck in so when you shoot the red they can't they don't go flying out of your purple so yeah all in all a great uh addition to the gt and i love how it uh works and i'm pretty sure it does a lot of damage like it'll one shot a sukuna one shot a maharaga if they're inside if they're like close to the center of the purple now uh i'll be going over a another big addition to gt and that's through the epic fight game rule if you do slash game rule, there's this game rule called GT Epic Fight Game Rule. Now, now for this game rule to have any effect, you'll need Epic Fight and its data packs. So I'll cut to an old recording of me showing off how exactly to get the Epic Fight uh, game rules and data packs. Now, as you can see for my uh, mod packs, this is the mod pack I use for my GT videos. These are all my mods, so if you're looking at a mod and you're like, oh, I wonder what he uses, these are all of them. Let me just move out your way so you can see. These are all of my mods. Now, the mods that you'll need for Epic Fight to work is Epic Fight, of course. You'll need Epic Fight, the Grandal moveset, and you'll also need Weapons of Miracles. You need these three mods for this whole thing to work. Now, after you downloaded those mods, there's something else you need to do as well. In Minecraft itself, let me just go back to the world. You're also going to need to download a uh, data pack. But first, let me show you where this data pack goes. 
So let's say you have a world that you already made that you want to add the data pack to. You would go to that world, you will click edit, you would do open world folder. Now in this world folder, you would see data packs. Let me just, hopefully it's not showing anything. You will see data packs. So you will click on data packs and put the data pack that I'll show you how to download later inside here for the mod to work. And let's say you have, let's say you want to create a new world and you want to get the data pack for this new world that you're creating. You would hit more, click data packs, and you would open the pack folder and put it in there. Now, how do you get this data pack? Well, by joining the epic fight discord server by doing the epic fight discord server i'll leave a link down below you can go to the content of uh, the creation sharing too type in jujitsu and you'll see it right here by waffles now there's three people i want to shout out i want to shout out waffles uh laced as well as as well as zarafu Waffles, Lace, and Zerifu, all three of them have done work on this. I'm not too uh, familiar with which does which, so you have to forgive me for that. But all three of them have done amazing work, and I loved how they got it able to work and animations and the things. It looks amazing. So when you get to this part and you scroll up, you'll see it right here. Final version 1.3. That's the one that I use. You would download it. Uh, and there's also, if I scroll up just a tiny bit, there's also a resource pack that you can use as well. So there's the final version 1.3 and a resource pack. Now, let's say you download final version 1.3. Well, what do you do with it? Where do you put it? Well, going back to Minecraft. You see, if I were to open one of my Epic uh, World folders, I would edit it, open the World folder for it, and go to Data Packs. You can see it's just right there. I just put it right there in Data Packs, and it works. So I'm gonna relaunch Minecraft with Epic Fight enabled, so I can show you uh, what it adds and what it changes. Now, something I just want to say uh, at the end of that is it seems to be that there is another way to also have it you don't have to do it through the data pack as well if you look on course curse forge give me one second if you look on curse forge there are two uh data packs resource packs i don't know the name by waffles the creator and they add the compatibility and the trail so you may just be able to install these to your uh install these into your mod packs and they will just work on any world you create that's how they might work i am not 100 percent sure but they are here by the creator so if you want to try them out and see how they work then go right ahead it might be way easier than going to the folder and, and doing that for every single world like i know that can be tedious so these are right here for you i'll leave a uh, link to the top one here in the description so again uh as is just a second time saying thank you to the creators that uh worked on this and i highly recommend uh still being in the epic fight discord and looking at the channel at, uh from time to time because there are updates that are releasing of uh, people uh doing other things there's also i saw a sukuna compatibility uh data pack that lets sukuna's four arms work with uh, epic fight all right now i'm back in a new world using the epic fight mod and as you can see already, there's a couple of changes uh, shown here. Now, uh, I'm sure there's a plenty of videos on YouTube showing what Epic Fight does. Um, just going over basics, it adds a new combat system that's like, I would say similar to like Dark Souls kind of. As you can see, there's like dodging, there's moves, there's different weapons, there's like hold attacks and all that stuff. And there's like jump stuff, all that. And you get all of those from uh, skills and all that stuff like you you can look that up and know when in, it comes for in terms of jujitsu uh, for jujitsu craft all of the weapons have uh, their animations like for example a kotsu sword has its animations and it also has the trails that's what the resource pack does it adds the trails for all of the uh, things as you can see all cool moves and all that now the data pack lets mobs also 
use the epic fight uh, weapons and abilities and skills. Now, if I remember correctly, there's only a couple of mobs finished. From what I've seen, uh, like you all have mobs, all mobs have like a base move set, but there's only a few with custom move sets. So that for that's for uh, Maguna, Satoru Gojo, and uh, Toji Fushiguro. So those are the ones that I know that have uh, custom moves as well with uh, animations. Just to give you a little test here. As you can see, they have custom animations as well. Let me turn that down. Yeah. Sadly, the Jujutsu craft moves themselves don't have custom animations, but the attacks, the, the attacks and the skills do. Oh, my laptop is dying. <laughs> oh, as you see, uh, Gojo has dodges. Yeah, I need to get a new setup. Oh. Oh, there's Sukuna's new domain animations. Oh, Fuga. Ah, okay. You get the gist. You get the gist. You get how it works and all that. Now, uh, remember to enable the GT Fight Epic Game Rule when you're using Epic Fight because GT itself adds a couple things to uh, Epic Fight that's not in there in base. So, as you all know, Higuruma gets a gavel. Now, what GT does is it adds uh, correct animations for all these, uh, for all the different gavels. As you can see, this is pretty basic, nothing too impressive, but if you change the form of the gavel, the animations also change with a completely different style. And this works for all the forms of the gavel. But yeah. And it also adds a special animation for the Executioner's Sword. Let me show you what that looks like right here. Let me just get six eyes so I don't die. Yeah, I can open my domain expansion. That's not gonna work. It's court time. All right, now with the Executioner Sword, there's also unique animations. If I can get a good hit, there we go. Yeah, custom animations for the Executioner Sword as well. And of course, you could change it back to the gavel. So yeah, those are pretty interesting animations. Oh, and there is one more that GT adds, if I remember correctly. That's for the Soul Split Katana. As you see, I love all of these animations. They're all so sick. All right, guys, that'll be all for this video. I just want to say again, thank you so, so much for a thousand subs. We're going to be pushing for 5K now. Uh, yeah, we'll be pushing for 5K. I'll try to get more views, try to uh, keep uh, my reach on the channel. What to say for the future? I just hope that I can still make videos in the future. Again, I know I say it all the time. Oh, I'm going to showcase some servers when I have some time. I will try to actually showcase some servers. I won't just leave that uh, pending forever. But yeah, that'll be all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. That's hopefully soon. And oh, that's bye for me. <laughs> I keep seeing the see you so many times, but I don't know what else to say. All right, guys. See ya.